So in one of my first videos for the channel, right at the end of 2021, I covered my top picks of watch releases from that year. Pretty high up that list was Tudor's Black Base Ceramic, and I've been after one ever since. Well, I finally got one. And you know what? It's actually even better than I was expecting. So before we get into talking about the Black Bay Ceramic, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who watched my last video about Tudor's Black Bay Pro, the new release from Watches and Wonders 2022. That video got over 8,000 views in the first seven and eight days, 300 new subscribers, which has really helped me get towards my current goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I just wanted to say at this point, please click that subscribe button now. So when Tudor announced the release of the Black Bay Ceramic in the spring of 2021, I immediately fell in love with it. Um, I've got a bit of a thing for black watches. I really like the fact that they've used ceramic for the case material on this one. So Tudor, as a sister company to Rolex, really seemed to be the more innovative half of that duo of brands. And I think that the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation really uses Tudor to express its creativity and to try new and different things. And certainly Rolex releases tend to be a little bit more reserved. I've said in other videos that I think that Rolex's R&D department works at about the speed of a glacier, whereas Tudor seems to be the brand where they get to express their creativity. It's a younger brand aimed at a younger audience, I guess. And this Black Bay Ceramic is certainly more technically advanced than any watch that Tudor has made before. And Tudor are really taking the challenge to Omega with this one by producing a Meta certified chronometer. I mean, look, Meta certification has really been Omega's party trick up to now but also by producing a watch with ceramic as a case material for significantly less than anything that Omega has got on the market right now. But enough of the waffle, because I know that you guys really want to see the watch. So without further ado, let's flip the camera and let's take a look at this one, shall we? So you get the usual Tudor packaging. So you've got this white outer sleeve, which we'll just get rid of over there. And then you've got this outer box, outer carton, I'm a bit geeky when it comes to packaging, actually. I've been in marketing and uh, design, I've designed a lot of packaging in the past. So kind of like really kind of geek out over some of this stuff. So taking the lid off. And you've got this molded soft touch ABS plastic box inside. Plastic, yes, but I think it's done much better than Rolex packaging. I think Rolex can actually learn something from Tudor when it comes to their packaging. And there it is, my Tudor Black Bay Ceramic. Starting straight into the specs. And you've got a 41 mil case, which is milled from a single piece of black ceramic. And there's longitudinal brushing. And then you've got this really nice high polished edge, a bevel to the edge of the case, which really picks the light out. The light just bounces off this. So the bezel itself is made from stainless steel with a PVD coating, as is the crown. And you've got a ceramic bezel insert, and that's got radial brushing to it. So you can see that as you turn it in the light. So the dial is a dome dial in matte black. And it's a little bit different to a lot of the Black Bay line because a lot of the Black Bay watches are criticized for having too much text on the dial. Well, on this one, you've just got two lines of text. You've just got Black Bay and Master Chronometer. And of course, the text and the logo on this one are in gray on that matte black dial. So it really is very, very subtle. The indices in the hands have got a high polished edge and they're filled with loom and it's got a, an ivory and off-white color to it, kind of a faux patina which I think is just stunning. I think it gives it a slightly retro look, but it also just softens the contrast. If you could imagine that being pure white, I think it would just jump off the dial too much. But I think this just helps to just soften the look a little bit. And the loom on this thing is absolutely incredible. It's such a loom monster. 
So turning this one over, and this is actually one of the few models in the Black Bay line to have a display case back. In fact, I think the only other one is the 925 Sterling Silver Black Bay, which was actually released around the same time as this model. So this one uses the MT5602 movement, which is, uh, it says it's Tudor's in-house movement, Tudor manufacture. Um, I actually thought that most of the Tudor movements were made by Kinesi, but this one does say Tudor manufacture on it, which implies that it's in-house. But if anyone knows and wants to um, enlighten me in the comments, I'd really like to know if that is the case. You've got some nice decoration on the bridge plates and on the rotor. And this one, of course, uses the silicon hairspring, which helps this watch to achieve its METAS certification. So what is METAS? What is METAS certification? Well, this watch obviously meets COSC certification standards, which gives it a level of accuracy or test for accuracy up to, um, I believe the tolerance is minus five to plus five seconds a day. Well, METAS demands a higher level of accuracy than that. So with METAS certification, the watch has to be accurate from zero to plus five seconds a day. So it's just a higher standard of accuracy primarily, but it also has to have a high level of anti-magnetism too. So these watches are tested to withstand magnetism of magnetic fields, I should say, up to 15,000 Gauss. And METAS certification was something that really Omega have been doing for a number of years. And it was, I guess, one of their selling points, really, where now Tudor have done it themselves with this model and at a price point beneath that of even the entry level Omega, the Seamaster. So it comes on this strap, which is a, you've got a, a really soft leather. It feels almost kind of a suede feel to it, um, but leather strap. So you've got leather on the top part with this really nice ivory cream stitching, and it's backed with rubber. And the rubber's actually embossed here with a pattern that's designed to resemble the Tudor snowflake hands. And that just helps the watch strap to breathe a little bit. So the strap just kind of stands off the wrist a little bit more. But that feels really nice. It feels like a really premium strap. I think this is the same strap, or very similar certainly to the strap that you get with the new Tudor Black Bay Pro. It also comes with a fabric strap in the box here, which I haven't actually put on the watch yet. But this is really nice. It's a really nice quality NATO style one piece strap. It feels quite thick. And you've got this contrast line that goes through the middle of it. So I'm looking forward to trying this on the watch too. Also in the box, you've got this guarantee card, which has got a little party trick of its own. Because of course, unlike other Tudor warranty cards, this one has got an NFC chip built into it. So when you put this up against your smartphone, an NFC enabled smartphone, it will actually bring up the test data for this particular watch, which is a really nice touch. So you can see the exact accuracy that your watch achieved when it went through Meta certification. So I was on a waiting list with my AD for the Black Bay Ceramic and been on it for about six months. And availability really is still pretty difficult on these in the UK, even though they were released over a year ago. And I recently spoke to my AD and asked if they had any indication of timeline on getting one of these. And although I'm pretty much at the top of their list, they said that they were still looking at probably 12 to 18 months. And I was just getting a bit impatient because I wanted to get hold of this watch a little bit sooner than that, so as quickly as possible. So I actually picked this one up pre-owned. This one is only eight months old. It's in really, really nice condition. So I'm super pleased with this. It's just got a couple of very, very small marks on the looks from strap changes, which you'd expect. But apart from that, it's absolutely unmarked. And these are trading pre-owned at the moment for around list price or just a little bit over. But I actually managed to do a little bit of a deal, negotiated a bit of a deal on this one and got this one for under list. So overall, I am super happy, it has to be said. And this is one that I think is gonna stay in my collection, guys. 
for quite some time to come. So it's probably pretty obvious by now that I really love my new black bay ceramic, but I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. So guys, hit me up in the comments and tell me what you think. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like because likes really help the channel to grow. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I've got loads of great new content still to come. So please hit that subscribe button now. Help me get to my goal of a thousand subscribers with this video. Guys, as ever, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.